Uh, so yeah, that was the entire fight. And I'm pretty sure we just got another gimmick card, so... whoop de doo I guess. <laughs> From that we got, I think it's the Parasite Cage. There you go, Parasite Cage. I actually remembered his name. Um, I'm pretty- oh, we did get a level up. Uh, do I go with card bonus? I think I go with health. No. Blitz, I go with the slight. Uh, this is like, I think, 10 to 15? Yeah. So this is gonna be a nice, like, in between, somewhere to put in the middle of the, the deck as a combo. Just, just because I want Blitz. <laughs> Help me, I'm scared. Pinocchio, be brave! How? The fuck? <laughs> Instructions too hard. Don't give up. Try to fight. Be brave. Instructions just too hard. Got head stuck in chandelier. And apparently, Parasite Cage is a real pushover if you wooden doll. I mean, I guess we te we technically did beat the shit out of it, but if a wooden doll can escape its grasp after being beaten up, it's kind of a pushover. Just saying, Parasite Cage. Pinocchio, are you all right? Do you even lift Parasite Cage? Don't worry, I'm okay, just a little sticky. Ew, what did it do to you? Haha, <laughs> weird jokes. Um, <laughs> but I have a great idea. That thing spit me out when I started fighting back. Why don't we try the same with, uh, Monstro? Of course, if we're lucky, Monstro might cough us up. Great idea, let's go deeper. We have to go deeper. I'm going to. No. Fuck off. <laughs> but guys... No. You should be with Geppetto. No use escaping from Mantra if you two get separated again. But leave this to us. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I guess you're right. <laughs> I was too I was too early with my... Okay. <laughs> I apologize if I, if I ruined the suspense there for you. Um, so yeah, we've been going through, I think this is like, going to be the last video in Monstro because it was a pretty short world. Um, then again, I didn't, I did spend most of the, the, the rooms just opening up treasure rooms and reaping rewards, uh, so it's not exactly like I, like I gave myself a very challenging route to walk across. Oh no, all of these hard treasure chests, uh, to go through. Um, well, what am I doing? Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to go see the, uh, Parasite Cage. What's that? Do I? Liz? Did I change my deck around? Um, I don't think I have. There it is. Always nullifies the enemy's cards, and there's a one-use limit on it. <laughs> Interesting. I assume that's gonna be like a zero card? Um, not really sure why I would do that. <laughs> Can I fit that in the deck? The, the eight? I can. And we have five points left, so I was like, okay. I can deal with that. But yeah, the map cards are a little uh, interesting, because I assume the way to do it, the way to use a lot of them very effectively, um, it's like balance between two rooms, or oh, reopen a new room every time you go through a uh, doorway, instead of just walking through a doorway like I am. Um, I assume that's the correct way of doing it, um, to waste like a bunch of different cards. But I'm not, like, complaining that I have a bunch of map cards. <laughs> I'm not complaining that you're going to give me a bunch of free treasures. I'm, I'm just saying it, it does make it a little, little dull. Um, I don't know why, but they gave me a lot of Moogle cards, and they gave me a lot of um, Moments for Prize. It's like, I don't need that many rooms to save in. I didn't think I was that bad at the game. Maybe I am because I'm punching my mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> just taking my rage out on the mic. Uh, so I open a black room, and these summon uh, the mushrooms. Um, yeah. Mushrooms are, are an interesting enemies. They were in the first game, and they were really annoying to fight with. Um, reason, because uh, they had poison. They would do a little poison cloud attack uh, like that, and it like they were farting, which knocks you out a little. Um, doesn't do as much damage as I remember. And then they could also turn into stone. And another calm bouncy, because why the fuck not? But yeah, they, uh, they do turn into uh, stone after a while, which gets really annoying, especially when you're like, you're about to kill them, and then it's like, oh, lol, I'm stone, and vulnerable bitch, haha. <laughs> it's like, god, god damn it. 
I don't know if there's a prize for beating all the, the Heartless in this room. I, s I thought there was because it said something like, oh, it said something about that on uh, the card. So I was like, oh, sweet, I can go, you know, win something after I beat all these guys up. And that was not the case. So if you notice, uh, two guys are now, uh, the two of them are gray. Um, it's because they rev or inverted themselves to be, uh, uh, what you would call it, to be invulnerable. And I thought I had timed this at the right time, but as I'm doing this, it, the second guy becomes invulnerable, so my Goofy doesn't get wasted, but it doesn't get to use it as extremely as I wanted it to be. I was like, oh, cool, I can just Goofy here, and then it's like, oh, lol, invulnerable. <laughs> it's like, God, you fuck, you piece of crap right there. Uh, taking my frustration out on uh, planks, wooden planks. So the, I'm not sure if he's teleporting or if he's being despawned and then respawned and then despawned. <laughs> he's in, he's living a very interesting life. I'll, I'll just put it at that. Um, but yeah, these guys are kind of a pain in the fight. Pain in the fight? No, pain to fight. Because right there, as you see, they are invulnerable. And will that be uh? You cannot hit them until you, until they feel like it. So, I'm not sure if there's a specific timer, like, oh, you've been invulnerable for X amount of time, uh, revert back to normal, or if it's just like, at, at a random time, do whatever the fuck you feel like. Because if it is like that, it gets a, it would be getting a little annoying, because if RNG was not in your favor, um, then you'd be sitting there for like, quite some time, like five minutes, just like, well, this is a, this is a mushroom. This is a mushroom fight. So happy to be here. I think... I think it was this noise. Uh, this like weird noise. I think it's from the poison gas that's coming out. That I thought it kept spawning people. So I'm like, shut up, nerd. <laughs> Apparently I thought that was a nerd. Um, that's some very low self-esteem right there. When I'm relating to a giant plus thing that shoots out poisonous gas to to be a nerd. Well while I'm playing Kingdom Hearts and recording it. Anyway, um door number th three or higher. I'm pretty sure this is another treasure room. I uh, use a four instead of a three because I was out of three but I had two fours. So suck it. <laughs> but you could have used it no, I want a treasure. Um, I'm not sure if I get any more slights from the treasures themselves. I think for the most part I get a bunch of, uh, cards. I think I might be, get, I might get one in the next world, but I don't think, I don't remember getting, like, all too many slights. I think I have ice and blizzard. No. An ice raid, uh, ice raid and fire raid. I believe those are the names. They're just essentially adding the fire damage and ice damage to a strike raid, so. Uh, this needed a zero card, and it was a boss fight. Um, and I don't think I have too many. I, will, I also got the Joker card at the bottom. Um, I think it open, uh, it allows you to use uh, any particular things. I think I got the, what do I go with here? I wanted to make a martial uh, waking. Oh, I have three of those. Okay, I have two fours. Uh, so I do a sleeping heartless. Forgetting the title of what that's actually called. Um, but I think it's not Tranquil Darkness, it's the other one. It is a similar, uh, idea to that. Except it turned all the heartless that would have spawned and I would have just put some to sleep. But this is the, uh, quote unquote boss room. And I'll explain why I don't think it's boss in general after it. <laughs> Looks like this is uh, as far as we can go. Ready then? Let's shake things up. Let's shake it off. Really, Sora? Really? Uh, it, w it would be easier if we had something to fight. Perfect timing. Looks like we have company. Insert coincidence. So, the fight's a little different uh, from the majority of the boss fights we've had so far. Because... Once we get into it, from the bright white light of doom and glory, 
So we have to do uh, belly brawl. You have to fill the gauge by uh, to killing the heartless um, before the timer runs out. So this is, I guess, the boss fight of the room, uh, of the world, I should say. I guess it's technically a room as well. So <laughs> not really sure how I should phrase it. Um, I can understand why they did this because uh, the last boss fight of uh, what should we call it? Of the first Kingdom Hearts was Monstro was was the inverted version of Parasite Cage. It like flipped over and uh, had to like from upside down. Um, so I can understand why they didn't go with that, but I don't know. It was it was a much easier boss fight than you would expect. But you? It's working. Monstro's gonna sneeze. Not sure how something in his stomach would make him sneeze, but okay. Kingdom Hearts logic. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't really know the uh, anatomy of a whale. Maybe they were closer to the blowhole. Not really sure sneeze, uh, whales have noses to, to sneeze out of. <laughs> so I guess it would technically have to be near the blowhole. Uh, now I know what getting a shot from a cannon feels like. Hey, where's Pinocchio and his dad? They, they're gone. They must have gotten out safely. Not killed in the a stomach acids, obviously. Without you, Jiminy, I thought there was no escaping your conscience. Haha. -ha. Make jokes at a time like this. I don't mind being left behind as long as they're okay. M maybe Pinocchio doesn't need me after all. What do you mean? That little puppet used to be, or used to have trouble telling right from wrong. Yeah, in the movie he definitely did, yeah. But maybe he's come a long way. Maybe he doesn't need Jiminy Cricket anymore. Seems like he's got a conscience of his own. Like he's a real boy. Don't you remember what Geppetto said? There's nothing better than being reunited with someone you care about. I bet Pinocchio is counting the days till he sees you again. Well, what do you know? You might be right. Jeez, I'm taking a while for that. <laughs> yeah, you might be right, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna stare at each other for a bit. So yeah, that's the world of Monstro. Uh, the boss fight was uh, interesting. <laughs> Would have preferred something a little more, like I wouldn't say exotic, but something more than just a little mini game of beating up Heartless. I would have liked the inverted Parasite Cage, but I can understand why they didn't uh, do another Parasite Cage because we've already have his card. Um, I'm not sure really if they could program a whole different parasite cage and what would they I don't know if they would call it something different um, I'm not too mad it's, it's Monstro it was a bitch finding this this world in the Kingdom Hearts one because it like there was an RNG of the fact whether or not you were going to run into it so you had to wait a while if you ever wanted to go back it's like oh let's just go okay he's not here <laughs> he's apparently taking a freaking lunch break over in some other part of the galaxy just bits and pieces. Oh. Maybe you could try telling us some more stuff about her. Who knows? It might even help you remember other things. You don't say, do you? Well, uh... Let's start rambling about this random girl that we don't really remember. Quiet. And always drawing. When we go to the beach... She'd draw a picture instead of swimming. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Sometimes she draws I hate the, too. I hate swimming as well. So. She was really good. <laughs> I remember Riku and I fighting over who she'd draw next. <laughs> it's a weird time to have a fight. But one day, she was gone. Just like that. I think the grown-ups knew the reason. Maybe she was fighting Heartless as well. Considering you just like... They might disappeared and no one I even really cared or noticed but I was little I probably didn't understand what was happening no I remember crying after she was gone and we're just remembering her now that's sad but that's all I still don't remember god damn it Tora or her name. If we're gonna have a sob story, you should have a name to the sob story. 
I must point out, Sora keeps remembering things instead of forgetting them. It seems to me, forgetting things may be the only way to reach the memories buried deeper down inside each They've entered that beginning of this world and you are so just... So we should forget in order to remember? Yeah. They said this at the like beginning. Those guys <laughs> said, there you go. Now you're just catching our on. Our most precious memories lie so deep in our that hearts wasn't a quote that I was they're out pull, of reach. But All that stuff about finding, that's the one. being losing, and losing being finding. To lose is to find, and to find is first, to lose. But maybe this is what they meant. Or Sora, I think I'm a little jealous of you. How come me and Donald and Jiminy aren't remembering more of the stuff from our memories? Because you aren't forgetting hard enough. Oh, yeah, there you go. You're not forgetting enough. <laughs> You're, there's a fine line. You're not forgetting enough.